<laughs> mm. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Welcome to Movie Boner. Now. Hi guys, welcome to Movie Boner. My name is Frankie Pozos. Let's get to it. We got a fun show for you. It's going to be great. All right, let's get to it. I recently, uh, Sucker Punch came out last week. Everyone's all talking about that. I've been seeing a lot of reviews out there. People are saying like, oh, the movie's awful. I hate it. It's just overindulgent. Oh, Zack Snyder is just plain stupid. Oh, oh my God. Blah, blah, blah. And then people are like, Frankie, what do you think of the film? Well, let me talk to you about that. Well, a year and a half ago, I saw Sucker Punch for like a test screening, which a test screening is a film where they try it out with an audience to see if the film works or not. Some parts are longer, some parts are shorter, things, you know, things are not finished, you know? Well, the film I saw was amazing. It was crazy. The scenes were crazy. Uh, it was visually stunning. The story, I understood everything. It was just amazing. The film was like almost two hours and a half, and I thought it was really great. I enjoyed it. I was excited for this movie to come out. I was telling everybody how amazing this film is going to be. It's going to change things, you know? And so I go to the movie theater la um, last Thursday night uh, for the midnight show. I go check it out, and what I see disappoints me. Because they totally gutted that movie, man. Not gutted completely, but... It was just amazing. Every, like, the film cut I saw, the film took its time to reveal things. I mean, it was already visually stunning to begin with, but it, it took its time for everything to just wash over you, you know? But what I saw in the midnight show, everything was just coming at you so much. No time to breathe. Everything just... And then you're like... You just couldn't, you couldn't take it. And I felt that way. And I bet everyone else felt that way. People were like, oh, this is so... Uh, but I... But what I still I still believe the film is amazing. And what Zack Snyder recently said in an interview, he said that they're going to release a, a director's cut with most of the scenes cut out. And it, and um, what was it? They recently, um, most of the scenes cut out. So I'm really happy about that. And it, and it really sucks too. It really sucks too because uh, John Hamm had a huge part in the film. Well, not that big, but I mean, he had a big part. And they cut it out. He barely, he's barely even there. And we all know... A lot of John Hamm is amazing, all right? John Hamm should be in every movie, all right? That's what I believe on that one. So there you go. So I love Sucker Punch. I didn't like what I saw recently, but I still believe there is still a great film out there, and it's going to come out in DVD in May, I believe, or Blu-ray. That's what I'm going to get. So check that out. Check out the director's cut. I highly recommend that because that's the film I saw, and I think that's the film that's amazing. There you go. Sucker Punch Review. Now to what's grinding my gears. Recently, uh, Battle Los Angeles came out, and before that, Skyline came out. And everyone's been fighting, like, what's, what's better, Skyline or Battle Los Angeles or... Yeah, whatever. So, what? here's my opinion. When Skyline first came out, I didn't give a shit. I didn't want to see it. I was like, nah, I don't want to see that shit. And I saw the reviews, and the reviews said, yeah, the movie's shit, so don't see it. So I'm like, ah, oh, fuck that. I want to see Skyline. Battle Los Angeles. No, that's the one I'm going to check out. So I go check out Battle Los Angeles, and what I see is just a fucking awful film. I fucking was pissed off. And people are, like, they're trying to sell it like it's, um, like, I, some reviewers were saying, like, it's um, Black Hawk Down meets uh, Independence Day. In which that is a fucking retarded like review right there because uh, Ridley Scott knew how to shoot action for Black Hawk Down, and Roland Emmerich knew how to shoot action for Independence Day. What this director for Battle Los Angeles didn't understand how to do any fucking action or story. There was pointless like pointless deaths, action scenes that were just fucking chaotic, and you couldn't understand what was going on. And there's a lot of fucking retarded scenes. It was just fucking stupid and I was really pissed off. Because I fucking love action and I fucking love aliens and how do you fucking fuck that up? And you got fucking Aaron Eckhart and Michelle Rodriguez. You don't fuck that shit up, man. Alright? 
So fuck yeah, Battle of Los Angeles. Fuck you. And so recently, I saw Skyline. I rented it, I rented Skyline, and I wanted to check that out to see what was that, you know? What was that all about? And you know what? It was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't the best movie ever, but you know what? It was better than all those fucking sci-fi channel movies that were just fucking plain awful, you know? The ones where it's like, oh, look out, oh, oh. Or, I will come back for you. What? Really? Yeah, totally. And it's like, what the fuck is this shit? No, the movie's fun, and I enjoyed it. I had a fun time. I mean, of course, the acting isn't that great, but you understood where the aliens were, you understood your surroundings, you understood everything. You knew the stakes. I mean, I had a fun time, and I think Skyline will actually live on while Battle of Los Angeles is forgotten, and that's my opinion on that. Alright, so there you go. That's grind my gears about that. Skyline is semi, a little, is better than Battle of Los Angeles, but, you know, Skyline isn't that great. There you go. Grinding my gears. Frankie Pozos. Boom! Show and tell. Show and tell. Show and ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Welcome to Show and Tell. Alright, uh, this past Sunday I went to see, uh, Kill Bill The Whole Bloody Affair at the New Beverly. They're going to play it for the whole week and the next week after that. In which Kill Bill The Whole Bloody Affair is Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 connected. It's amazing. The film is amazing. They, they added things. They took out things. But it's awesome. And there's an intermission in everything. Well, at the screening I went to, it was the first screening of the show ever. And uh, it was Quentin Tarantino's birthday as well. And we all sang happy birthday to him. He was there. It was awesome. At the New Beverly Cinema. It was great. I loved it. Also... At the screening, they, the boys from Mondo Tees were selling posters made by Tyler Stout. And if you haven't seen Tyler Stout work, it's amazing. If you've seen his uh, The Thing, uh, Blade Runner, Total Recall, Robocop, oh my god, his stuff is just amazing. Anyway, I got to snag one of the posters and oh my god, just check it out. Just check Well, thank you guys for showing up. This was a fun show. I hope you had a fun time. My name is Frankie Pozos, and now I give you what you want. The porn star of the week. Va 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 voom. Bye bye. Porn star of the week. Porn star of the week. Porn star of the week.